Hey guys, what's going on? It's Bright Fusion here, and today I'm playing some more Space Engineers, and in today's video I am yet again playing around with some more gravity. I've kind of gone back to what I did with Flappy Birds the other day, if you ever saw my faulty ship video, which is kind of like Flappy Birds and Space Engineers, where I actually attached a stone to the bottom of a ship and I actually had to make it navigate a course. So here today I'm presenting you two different sort of courses or ideas that I was messing around with, and you had this one over here, which is a horizontal type one and over here you have a vertical type one and the way the vertical one works is pretty simple you have to try and navigate your ship whilst it's constantly falling downwards through this course here and get to the bottom now I didn't actually finish this because I didn't actually like how it really turned out and I was tempted to delete it but I thought I'd just leave it here to show you guys to see what you guys thought about uh, this sort of idea I did easily manage to get down to the bottom of this one so it wasn't exactly the most difficult of puzzles but, uh, yet again, like, you could set your own rules, really. If you touch something, you'll have to restart, or so on and so forth. But the next puzzle, the horizontal one, actually had a little bit more work and effort put into it. And I think I like how th this one turned out a little bit more. So let's go inside here, and I'll give you a quick overview at how this, or sorry, of how this thing actually works. So if I get in here and I'll close this up. So basically, you have this little teeny carrier ship here. And what you have to do is you have to pick up the stone and navigate through all the cargo containers and get yourself to the end without bumping any of them, though, I mean, you know, like I said, it depends on what rules you set yourself. I'm going to be setting myself the rule of not bumping anything, though I'm pretty sure I'll probably mess it up before I get to the end. And once you get to the end here, you actually drop the stone into this little chute here. Uh, this was meant to be covered up, but I forgot to actually do that. And what happens when you drop the actual stone down here it falls down and then the gravity, if I turn my HUD on, let me go back up here, sorry for a second, you'll see that the gravity actually pulls it down into here, and then the gravity redirects the stone all the way back down this tunnel here. So I think it's the point where it starts slowing it down, yeah just about there that slows down and then it shoots the stone back up to here where it now resides right there. So let me try this with this uh, little ship here, let me try flying over and picking up the actual uh, actual stone, so here we go. Oh, there we go. Almost, I bumped it, so. Bit hard to do this with one hand because of my other hands on the mouse, and I can't really reach over because of the microphone. That's a little bit lopsided, I think, so I'm gonna position myself a little bit better. There we go. Okay, so right now I have my dampeners on. Now, you can turn the dampeners off, which makes you go a little bit fast and a little bit difficult as well, but uh, nonetheless, it's still pretty fun. You can play this in first person, and I actually recommend this being in first person, but I'll do this with my dampeners on. Just to show you guys how this works. So basically, the stone is going to be pulling you down and kind of weighing you down a bit as well. It makes it a little bit hard to navigate where your ship starts to kind of sway. As, as you'll notice then, because I tried slowing down, the stone was flung forward a little bit. So it does make it a little bit difficult to navigate this puzzle. I thought it was kind of a cool little concept here. It did, you know, obviously I got the idea, whoa, there was a bit of a big sway there. I did kind of get the idea of the whole Flappy Birds thing, but making it more, instead of just being 2D, it was more of a 3D environment to have to navigate through. So here we are, whoa, 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 the stone's going really, really wacky now. I can't do this in third person, though I do prefer first person, I don't know why, it feels a lot more uh, <laughs> immersive. But you guys can see, in third person, this is what it looks like. Now, navigating your ship is quite easy. At least I've made it so that forward is obviously W, back is S, and side to side is A and D. Uh, because I felt that was a bit more natural for you guys to try and navigate with. So you got, here we are, we're coming towards the end now. And what we will do is I'm actually going to uh, put the... Let's, let's try and get to a point where the actual... Actually, yeah, we can just rest the ship on the edge here. Let's, uh, let's do that. Rest the ship and I'll actually... I'll, I had to press P and get out. So I'll press P, I get out. The stone should have fallen all the way down here, and if I can try and catch up with it, I don't think I can, but we'll try to. The stone should be up here somewhere. Though it does kind of go a little bit all over the place sometimes, it can actually get fl uh, flung quite a fair distance. I actually don't know where the stone went this time. Normally it lands, like I said, right around here, right at the start. It doesn't normally go too far or too fast. That's how we've actually lost it this time. No, see, it actually did dent there, so it actually did land here at some point. Just not entirely sure where it's gone this time. Why is it the one time I do a recording, <laughs> the extra stone disappears on me? Couldn't have gone too far away. I, I, I can't imagine it having gone. 
All the way over here. It didn't break out because none of the walls are broken. Yeah, why did I think it would be all the way over here? I'm going to go check the tunnel once again, just to make sure I didn't actually lose it in the tunnel. It may have not actually come out, but I'm pretty sure it should have. Oh, I am a, I am a fool. I, 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 blah, 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 blah. I undocked it in the area where there isn't actually any gravity, just because I didn't want it to speed up too quickly. So I'm going to actually just drop it down here, so you guys can see uh, what it actually looks like. So there we go, we're going to drop it. We're going to close out of our thing. We'll actually follow the stone. Now see, as you guys uh, know, I did it so that it kind of looks into a really small place here. As you see, it picks up speed, slows down a bit, bounces off that, lands all the way up here, and lands right down for you to pick it up again. So this is kind of like a speedrun thing, or you can even do relays with your friends. You can have one friend do one run with it, and he'll have to fly all the way back here, and you can swap over with him. Or you can even do races to try and see who has the best time at getting uh, the stone to the other end. It, it's something that I thought was a little bit interesting to make, and it plays on the whole gravity thing. I wanted to make something that wasn't too serious, and something that would be a bit interesting to actually play. So now that the ship actually doesn't have the stone on it, the ship itself is actually a lot easier to uh, fly around and handle. I think it does turn a little bit too quickly, but that's just me. Hopefully the video isn't too dark. I mean, I do have both the ship's lights on and my lights on, so it shouldn't be all too dark for you guys. And j as you guys can see, it's really quite a piece of cake to navigate this course um, without any stones on. I mean, this this could be like a training course, really. Like, if you wanted to learn how to pilot in space and this, this could be... Wow, that was dumb of me. Uh, this could be the thing for you. It gets you used to uh, piloting with and without stones. But, uh, here we go. Let's pick this up. We'll do one more run of this. And I might show you guys the other one, just uh, just for the sake of showing you guys it. So for this one, I'm going to be doing it, doing it with my dampeners off. So we're going to do that, dampeners off. So you guys can see how the uh, the swang and the movement actually affects me a little bit more. And that also means that my ship won't slow down unless I actually tell it to slow down. So right now I'm constantly going forwards, but I can try to slow myself down a little bit here. And we'll try and navigate this course without bumping the ground or, or anything, really. Oh, that was so close. How did I not hit anything there? I might have hit the ground then. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm pretty sure. I'm not going to lie. I think I actually hit the ground at that one point, but other than that, I haven't actually hit anything else just yet. Oh, come on. So you can imagine this being like a sort of game where you're actually carrying like valuable cargo or something uh, through the actual course. Oh, crap. Yeah, okay, that was daft of me. I hit a second thing, so there we go. There's minus, like, I guess you can make the rule so if you touch something, you add two seconds or something to your timer. And so I would have added like six or eight seconds then just because I done goofed. So now that that actually has been done, I'm actually going to fly out top here and actually go over to uh, the other area. So you can navigate this in first person, though I wouldn't recommend it because it is pretty hard to see everything. So what you're going to do is you're going to go from above and you will turn your dampeners off of this one. Because if you have your dampeners on, uh, your fold isn't that bad. So I'm going to slowly drop down here. It reminds me of the, um, uh, what's that called? Actually, hang on one second. I've got to reposition the lights. I think I had a separate ship for this, but I think just for the um, because I was originally going to use it just for the other thing. So let me put my ship just down here. It reminds me of that um, I can't remember what that game was. You had to fly a UFO and oh sorry, like a lander, and you had to land it um, really slowly, else you'd break it. And that's what this kind of reminds me. I only put one light on, else it probably would get too laggy. But yeah, this is what this reminds me of. It reminds me of that lander game. And hell, you could probably make it. I don't know how the ship reacts to landing on C4. Sorry, not C4. Wow. The, um... What are the landmines thing? I can't remember. I forgot that in the previous video as well. Okay, dampeners now off. Warheads, that's it. I keep forgetting that they're called warheads. So here we are navigating down here. We don't want to go too fast. Yeah, we want to go just down through here. Oh, oh, okay, almost bumped, almost bumped. Maybe carrying a warhead or something would be rather fun. Would make it a lot dangerous, but... But as you guys can see, I didn't really do this properly. I just kind of made this a thing. And yeah, I bumped there because I was busy talking. But as you guys can see, I didn't actually really get a chance to finish this one. But nonetheless, the uh, other one was the one I actually spent a lot of my time focusing on. So actually, I want to see... Whoa, 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 jetpack's on. 
Not on. There we go. I almost was pressing the wrong keys then. I wanted to see what would actually happen if I placed a whole bunch of um warheads on the bottom of my wait, but I did the bottom of my ship. <laughs> there we go. God damn it. Okay, so basically, if I touch anything, I'm a dead man. Why wouldn't? There we go. Well, let me place it there for a second. So there we go. Bump anything, I'm dead. Ah, <laughs> oh, that should be uh. Actually, hang on. That was on the back side. I don't think it really matters that it was on the back side, does it? I don't think it does. Let's uh. Can I make that more difficult for me? I can't really, unless I extend it out the other way. Actually, no, I can't make that go any further. Unless, 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 unless I go like this. No, okay, well, let me go any further like that either. Oh well, we'll just go with uh, go with that. That's a lot of uh, things on here, and we will try. Whoa, not let's not fly up in here. Yeah, let's try and go around the other side, and we'll go back up again. So here we go. Let's go up, all the way up. Oh well, we don't want to detonate before we even get there. So let's try and navigate this with a whole bunch of warheads on the bottom. I guess that should be fun. Uh, fun for you guys, I know how fun it would be for me, because I'm probably going to die. We're coming up on the wrong side, aren't we? Yeah, I thought so. Though, there we go. We are, we are, we are, we are coming up. There we go. So now, if I touch anything, I am a dead man. So I'm going to be turning off my dampeners yet again to make this more difficult for myself. And you guys can now see that it is pulling me down rather quickly. So let's try and do this here. Come on, let's not... Oh god, it's a lot harder. Did I not... Did I just bump? No, I didn't bump any of that. Okay, okay, okay. Oh god, my camera's all fun. Yeah! Okay. No, I'm not... I really don't want to bump anything right now. Really, 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 really don't want to bump anything. God, this is actually a lot more dangerous now that I know there's actually explosives on here. I don't think I've saved this world for a while either. Okay. No, 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 no. I'm actually, I, I was going more of a dangerous route than what I'd normally take anyways. Just for the fun. And obviously if you goof up, let's see what happens. There we go. You goofed up and there goes the stone. Can I get the stone? Stone, come back here. I think it may have reached uh, maximum speed actually. Nope. I don't think so. I think I'm actually catching up to it. Let's see if I can catch you. Nope. Nope. Eh, whatever. I'll leave it how it is. Anyways, uh, that's it for this video. Uh, tell me which puzzle you guys like more. Which one should uh, would you like to actually see on the workshop? Uh, would you prefer the vertical one where you have to go through the cargo containers? Or would you rather a sort of lander type one where you actually have to fly downwards? Anyways, I'll leave this here. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time.